Welcome to Jester's Story, where we're just waiting on the school bus to go... I don't even know where. Where are we going? We are going to see. Ah. Why is his neck so long? Ah, let's see. Are you missing anybody? No. Okay, great. Why is your neck like that, sir? Now, student, have you all researched the ruins we're visiting today? No, I am concerned. Why would we do such a... Why would we want to bore ourselves to death, sir, long neck? See, she knows. Well, you'd be surprised. Let me tell you a few things. Legend has it. There was once sight of a grand kingdom until it fell into the hands of evil. Okay, whatever, Mr. Longneck. Oh, his name is actually Sir Longneck. You see, there was once a jester named Juvel. He got tired of amusing the king and turned out he was an all-powered being from another dimension. Okay, Sir Longneck. I was powerful, I wouldn't be some rich king court jester. Well, this jester took it upon himself to overthrow the king, but the king had three of his strongest wizards lock him up in his secret underground passage. On that very day, he realized it was too late for the Juvel's plan. He had gone into effect. The entire crumbled into bits and whatever. The wizard still managed to lock him, him up after that, to save the rest of the world, but it is something. He, this is going too fast. Oh, but it's just some kind of crazy le urban legends. It's not like mermaids and unicorns or whatnot. Why would you? Why would you look at the time? The buses are waiting for us. Let's get to the ruins. Woo! We were just on the bus. Okay, Sir Longneck. Whatever you say, Sir Longneck. What is up with that girl's hair? Oh, that's her long neck. I thought that was someone's hair. Okay, sir, long neck. Okay, students, we're kneeling our camp. Who is excited? Who talks like who is excited? What about who's excited? Oh, uh, Mr. Long Neck, what is that behind you? I'm scared. There's no, I'm gonna remember everyone's voices. Now, no need to be afraid. What are you talking about? All right, everyone calm, calm down. I need to do a head count. Is everyone here in one piece? Yep, yep. Did you see that creepy black shadow behind you, mister? Of course he did. How did you see behind him? Oh, now, now. You're all just pulling at my neck. There was no spooky creeper creature anywhere. Now, that's all just a fairy tale. Uh, well then, explain the broken wheel on the bus. What happened? Oh my, it must have been a very big squirrel. Well, no matter what, we are here at the ruins. Okay, Mr. Longneck. We won't let this little incident ruin our school trip, right? Uh. Exactly. Let's go explore. Come along now. Okay, Mr. Sir Longneck, whatever you say. Why do I call him Sir Longneck, not Mr. Longneck? Because if he's our teacher, wouldn't he be a mister or a... S what's the other one for mister? I don't know. No, go back. Okay, students. Here we are at the entrance of the ruins. Doesn't it just bring a tear to your face? Oh, the history. It's magnificent. Yeah, it sure is magnificent, a pile of rocks and dust. Oh my, now settle down, Bellagia. Wait until the centuries of artifacts that lie within. But sir, we're hungry and tired. Can we hang out for the night? Everyone's voice is just going to start sounding the same because I don't remember. All right, you kids don't have the energy that, that we had back in the day. Let's set up the camp then. <laughs> Yay! Go to the campsite. How about I grab this flashlight that I saw earlier? I got a flashlight. I am all powerful, all seeing, all knowing. Can I get one of one? No. What else can we get? What else can we get? Oh, we can go inside the tents. 
go to sleep for the night. No, thank you. Well, if we are gonna go to sleep for the night, I choose this blue one. Oh. I don't think tents are supposed to work like this. Can I eat my hamburg? Can I eat my hamburg, please? No, you know, it's fine. Ooh. Is this my dream? I came out of a white tent, but I slept in the blue tent? You kids are very bold to step on my ground. I will get back what was taken from me. Mwahaha. Okay, I am clearly the magic one. He is not the magic one. I am clearly the magic one. Because if you couldn't tell, I slept in a blue tent. Came out the white one. Like, I am the all magical being that we all need in our life. I'm not scared of this unknown entity. I can't believe what just happened. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Now, what's going on out here? What was all the ruckus all night? Did you get any sleep? How did his voice just 100% change? It was really scary. I saw the face of a clown looking thing, and, and we saw a ghost. And it chased us all around. It says something about getting revenge. Hmm. <laughs> Some wild imaginations you all have. Or that food must have been expired. Uh. Don't tell your parents. Anyway, let's get exploring. We're burning daylight. I'm going to tell my parents. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell them, and then you're going to get fired. That's what you get for not believing us. Wait, why does that sign say, do not enter? Like you didn't notice that the first time we went over here? Huh? What? Oh, that doesn't apply to us, I don't think. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so long, Nick. I think your neck's going through your brain, because you're clearly not thinking right. <laughs> Wait, uh, I see that I misplaced my camera. Do you guys just, just go scurry back to the bus real quick? Whatever you say, Sir Long Neck. Okay, let's go. Oh, nice. I don't have to walk. It's been too long. Where is he? Uh, it looks like he totally hasn't even been that long. Just be patient. Rude. I could be patient or we could all go down by ourselves. What's the worst that could happen after all? It's just a pile of rocks and dust now. Big brain me. Big brain. But the ghost, don't you remember? That evil jester that kind of stopped our bus? A scary dream. I don't feel right about this. You can't possibly believe a single thing Sir Long Neck has told us. It's just to shake us up. There's no ghosts, just smoke around near us. Yeah, that's right. We're not scared of ghosts. We are. Now, can you stay here along with the spooky, scary ghosts so you can come with us? Or come with us and have some fun? Who's with me? Yeah! Woo! Let's go! See, very convincing. Very big brain. Wait up for me! Maybe I'm not as pea brain as Sir Long Neck, because obviously his brain isn't very right. Whoa, I can't go past there. There we go. Wow, we went pretty far. Does anyone remember the way out? Just walk backwards. I do. Yeah, uh, wait, what? That's on the walls? Well, I see what you mean. It looks like some kind of story. They all sound so stupid and oblivious. Let me see if I understand what it's trying to say. Hundreds of years ago, there was a jester. He roamed to dabble in the arts of dark magic. It said that he plotted to overthrow his king. 
until the king sent his three strongest court wizards to lock him away for eternity. He was cursed with eternal life, destined to live in deep dark cell for his crimes. Beware those who would dare unlock the barrier. Doing so would free the prisoner, who would surely cause destruction to the world as revenge. Is it just me, or does this sound, sort of sound like what Sir Longneck was telling us about the school earlier? You don't say. You don't say me. I thought it was just a legend. Wait, over there. What's that? It looks like some kind of vault door. Whoever did this, making sure no one could get in. Or get out. Wait, remember the wall story? Someone find a, a, a wand. Yeah, there's a wand right there. Can we get the wand? It's right there. Pick it up. What are you doing? Oh, it's right there. It's literally... Wait, are we supposed to find the wand? That wasn't the wand. That was what we were supposed to be finding. Because that would make more sense. Whoa, you did it, Iggy's 2. Let's, wait, whoa, you did it, Iggy's 2. Let's go, everyone. Sorry, I'm so into my oblivious person voice that I couldn't even remember what I sounded like. That was weird. Okay, where are we going again? Perfect. We're all sealed and shut. There's no turning back now. Okay. Everyone sticks together and we'll be okay. Let's go. I'm the big brains here. Big brains. Whoa, look at this place. It looks just like something out of a scary book. You don't say. Don't get too excited. I think this was... Was... Someone's final resting place. Delightful. Okay, let's get up here. Oh, well then. Fun. You're a little shaky. You're a little shaky right there. You good? Oh, I don't think I'm a good. I think I just fell to my demise, to my death, to sadness. Oh, it's Iggy's two and Iggy's three. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, is everyone all right? That was a nasty fall we all took. Well, at least we're alive. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all here. We need to keep on moving. There's something out there. I think it's Jovel. Uh, I don't think it was a myth. I feel like he's here. See, I'm the leader here. I'm the big brain. I feel big brain. Let's go. Holy Jesus, this place is creepy. Look at all these things. This is definitely the lair of someone who either loves clowns or was a jester. Wait, do you guys hear that? No, I don't. Hello? Anyone there? Come closer. I don't know why my mouse voice is so deep. I don't think the mouse would be that deep. Hold up, let me change their voice. Are you a talking rat? Rude! I consider myself a mouse. But anyways, perfect. I'm so happy to see you here. Dude, uh, what are you? How can you talk? Well, you see, I was exploring the ruins in hopes to come and discover on the great modern archaeologist in the 1970s. Wait, what? It's not the 70s anymore? Not groovy. Anyways, after falling down some hole, I ended up in this room, and uh, now I remember a room was filling up with purple gas, and I was here, and I was in the form of a mouse. What? That's crazy. Have you seen anyone lurking around here? And how can we help? I see a scary-looking jester fellow walk around here before. Totally not far out. Anyways, I saw some weird looking files sitting on the shelf around here. Maybe you can find one and we can all get out of here alive? Sounds like a good plan. This? Oh, E? 
Oh, well, I got something. E. E. I'm just going to keep stacking up my inventory. Return to the mouse with the potion. Oh, so that's what I was uh, supposed to do. Okay. Is that the mouse? Where is the mouse? Sir. Sir. Which potion do you want? This one? Do you want this one? Or do you want this one? Do you want a Hamburg? Do you want a Hamburg? Sir? I'm gonna step on you. Got it! Here you go! Okay, Nina. 3980. Finally, I'm at a tiny body. I can still go for a piece of cheese, though. Now, we need to find a way to escape. Oh, so that's what she looks like. She's still gonna have this voice. Uh, look! There! But how are we gonna get all the way up there? I feel like their voices just keep changing. Okay. At last, you made faces with me, Jewel, the Jester. What? You let my pet mouse out? I will not have this. Oh, his voice takes up so much energy. Let's play a little game, shall we? We entertain and find out this riddle. What purple rises up to this good and takes your soul? Well, there I am. I don't think you can get me because I'm stuck. Uh, I don't know if this was going to be a pop quiz. Nice hat, though. Bah! Forget it. Let the toxic, toxic smoke rise. There's no way you can stop me now. Today, my master plan comes to life. Ah, I will finally escape the prison thanks to you kids. <laughs> it's all my fault, but... Also, I'm the big brains, but also the small brains. Oh, well, it got me out of my hiding spot. Oh, stop! 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 That's not very noise. You're horning me. Or are they? I don't think they're hurting me. Wow, so he actually is real. The stories were true after all. Did you do you guys know what this means? It means I'm a pea brain, but also the big brain. Magic and unicorns and fairy dust actually exist? I would totally be that person to say that. No. We need oh. I have to buy a new life. I'll do it. Oh. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm buying it. Okay, I'm back alive. Oh, I was supposed to go over here. Well, I wouldn't. I'm gonna waste all my Robux on this. I can revive her? Revive, revive, revive. I'm not reviving other players. Sorry, you're gonna have to do that on your own. I've already, I'm already low on Robux. Sorry, girls. Oh. Oh my god, my money. It's hurting. It's hurting with all its pain right now. All the pain that has ever gone in this world is in my Robux right now. Did I just go backwards? Hello? Hey, dude. Hmm. Wait, what? You all survived? No, that cannot be. Yeah, it can. I didn't survive. I paid to survive. We're not going to let you escape, Jubal. This is where it all ends for you. What? You think you little meddling kids are going to stop my master plan? Try to juggle this. Oh. My robot. Okay, I'm gonna survive this. I can survive this. Just run around like a fool that doesn't know what they're doing. Maybe you can survive this. You slimy kids! No matter, you went through this. Just catch me now, but oh, little did you know. You've opened up the world to me. And there is no need and nothing you could do to stop me. Well, I guess according to my calculations, there's a vent where you could stop me, but... Oh, why am I telling you telling you for it ends here eat more toxic gas can you just not 
I'm just gonna follow this girl because she seems to be a survivor. No, 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 I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna die. Everything is not going well for me. Nothing is going well for me. Why? Why? I'm gonna die here. All on my own. <laughs> Choose your fate left. Three, two, one, let's go. Did I do it? That was, what? What? Ugh. I'm gonna have no more after this. Please? One, three, I do something wrong. One, I do something wrong. Twenty one of one voice. I could have sworn I brought the camera with me. Oh well. Oh, student hey. I hope you all got a good dose of history this week. I almost died. I'm the only one who made it alive. Now, I hope we have some mechanisms in our mess. Let's fix the bus and get back home. Seems like we will need a wheel. And a wrench. And a can of oil. Everyone spread out and start hunting. Are you serious? So, dude, can you not count? We started with like 15 students. There's now only me. Can you count? You're like, is everyone here? No, only one student is here. We had like 15 students before. R.I.P. Why can't this dude find this thing itself? I've been through death. I was gonna say near death, but I've been through death at least three times. You go look for something. Now, now, everyone, back on the bus, and remember to tell your parents that you had fun. One person comes back, be like, all oh, my friends are dead, but I had fun. I got the good ending. Never again. Never again. Never again will I ever, ever revive myself in these story games. It only causes you sadness.